We're seeing a problem at the border that is just mind-boggling for Texas, for Arizona, for California, for New Mexico. But Texas appears to be making moves that make sense. And I wonder if you work in conjunction with the with the, the Governor Greg Abbott, who is your predecessor as Attorney General, uh, mm-hmm. when he says, we're going to start charging people with trespassing. We're going to start uh, building our own wall. Can you do that, Ken? Fill us in on what that looks like. So it's, it's complicated because you have to get the funding for the wall, which I applaud him for doing it because obviously Donald Trump's wall is being stopped by Joe Biden, along with every other good thing that President Trump did to stop illegal immigration and drug tra- drug trafficking and human trafficking. Right. So I applaud the governor. Uh, we'll have to find a way to fund it. I think he's going to try to do some crowdfunding, some private funding, which I think would help because this is obviously a very expensive project. And one that covers a large amount of territory because we have the largest border. I think we have about two thirds of the border, uh, Texas and, and Mexico. So it's right. a big problem. But I applaud the governor for for moving forward. Well, well, how does it work if he does crowdfunding? Let's say he raises enough money to build the wall. Still, immigration and naturalization issues are up to the federal government. Would you have to get the okay from all the private landowners on the border? Is there an easement that Texas controls that the feds don't control? How would you physically do it? Do you know? Well, it's, it's complicated because we actually haven't looked at private funding. If it's, if it's the state just doing it with their own dollars, then there's eminent domain issues and paying landowners for their property. And we'll still have to figure out how to deal with making sure that landowners are compensated for whatever we're taking from them, because that's the only fair way to do this. So we'll be looking at all those issues as we go forward. We want to help the governor because I love what he's doing. It is uh, the eternal, uh, the attorney general of the great state of Texas, Ken Paxton. Uh, Ken, when it comes to the border issues, only four months into the Biden administration, the Obama-Harris-Biden administration, uh, it appears to me that this is no longer a left and right thing. When Henry Cuellar is one of the loudest voices out there saying we've got to fix this problem, uh, Biden's losing us, isn't he? He's losing the left. This is a Texans issue. This is an American issue. This is people along the border. You, It doesn't matter what their party is. If you talk to leaders along the border and you talk to people that live along the border, they are concerned for their safety. They are concerned for their property. They are concerned for their jobs. They are concerned about smuggling and drugs. It doesn't matter. Party affiliation is irrelevant here. This is about protecting Americans. And what's amazing here is that Joe Biden will not protect Americans. He will not protect Texans. He is looking out for the cartels and the cartels only. It's crazy. Uh, Former President Trump is going to be going to the border. Are you going with him? I'd love to go. I'm trying to work that out right now. I uh, had, had a good conversation with the president this week about that, and he is extremely concerned about what's going on, given that he did so much to, to stem the tide and to make this right. And now all of his policies that were working are being completely undone. It, I think it's very frustrating for him. In your position as attorney general, do you have an opportunity to talk at all with the, with the Border Patrol? I know that they're federal you know, employees, but we also hear these are real people who live in Texas. And as you said, Texas has the longest part of the border. Um, these people are frustrated. They don't feel like the, the federal government has their back. Do you get to talk to them at all? Do you hear stories of their families and their concerns or no? Oh, yes. I, I've had lots of opportunities. I've been down there in the last, say, month and a half, twice to both Laredo and the Gallon area. And, and they are concerned and they want to do their job. These, these are American patriots. And these people want to do their jobs. They know that their, their jobs were, were being done the right way over the last four years. They liked the fact that the wall was being built. They were liking the fact that they were being empowered to actually do the job that federal law asked them to do. And so, yeah, I, they're very frustrated because they're being pushed into logistics and taking care of people rather than stopping illegal you know, smuggling of people and drug trafficking like they've done in the past. 